all right so i'm done with cleaning up the background of my fish over here so i want my fish to look something like it's wriggling over here that's what i'm going to animate it to so i'll first have to fit the fish within uh, the whole frame i will go to edit transform and scale again to scale it down so that it fits within the frame here okay so that's the fish over there and then if i want it to sort of uh be a bit slanted so i'll go to edit transform and i'll rotate so then it'll rotate it so i can start off the fish in the first frame as this and then probably get the fish to wriggle to our left and then wriggle back to our right so our tail will definitely change in position as well as the head so um this will be our first um layer which it'll look like that. I will put it as a group first. So that is your group layer. Click on that and it becomes a group. So I'll plug it in. So I'll click and drag it inside and that will be my first frame. So frame one. So I will copy that. I'll go to duplicate to layer and duplicate group. And then that will be frame two. Okay, so I will just off frame one and I'll concentrate on frame two. So opening up the group here, I will have this fish here. I will create a tail that will go in another direction. So I will duplicate this layer here. You can, I'll do a command J here, which is a control J in Windows. And I will do a transform. So I'll go edit transform and I will rotate my fish. So let's say, for example, I'm all right with the tail being like that. So there's a little bit of a slight shift. What I will do is I will go to my mask and I'll mask off the rest of my other images. So I'll go to the brush tool, making sure I'm on the mask layer and it's black over here so it will take away the rest of the fish there so that's the side over there i will do a little nudge just so it aligns going back to my arrow tool here so my move tool so it sort of aligns in the body over there so i'll do a zoom in lines there and maybe my head i would want it to go that way there so i will this is my original layer here so i'll make a copy of this Control j and then another copy comes up so that will be my head going this way all right and then i will mask off so on my mask layer going to the brush tool Trying to mask off the rest of the fish body. Right, and then that will be my head that has been shifted. So then I will mask off the rest of the original head here. So there you have it. It looks like your fish has moved a little bit. So yeah, just the old tail that was there, taking it off. Oops, too much all right so there you have it that's your fish there so that's your second frame and that's your first frame so you can see the distance that it has moved there all right so if you want it to move like a little bit more over there you can do the same thing so you will duplicate this layer and try to tweak the head the body and the tail all at the same time but otherwise this movement it's fine already so you can see your fish struggling a little bit there. To make it a bit more realistic, I will put a sort of like a plastic. So I can do a hardness and I'll do as if it's like a plastic. And I will adjust the opacity so it looks a little bit lighter. So you can see that it's being trapped inside. Alright, so this is my first frame and that will be my second frame. So to make it seem like my fish is struggling.